The future for Minecraft mod boats, including the current 2023 version currently going on, isn't necessarily looking great. As a new uprising against the whole voting system has new updates you're gonna need to know about regarding where the situation is gonna be headed. Our story starts with the massive backlash the 2023 version of the Minecraft mod boat received in comparison to previous years that featured options such as the Copper Golem and the Flare. More recently, however, it's all gotten to a point where thousands and thousands of Minecraft players are petitioning against the entire voting process in the first place and it's inevitable that the very rise of this movement will have a huge impact on the future of the whole thing and cause big changes. The main important aspect of the whole situation that ties everything together is why this year specifically opposed to previous years the massive backlash emerged from players to a point we've never seen before and additionally what actual effect it's meant to have on the future of these similar voting style events. And it turns out looking deeper into the process and gathering a general consensus reveals to us that one of the main deciding factors that caused this massive uproar to be especially prevalent this time around is the fact in 2023 specifically, the stakes are so much higher in terms of the potential candidates Mojang have presented to us to be selected for the actual game. Not only are the penguin, armadillo, and crab we see this time around related to actual real life animals now that players may have a more personal connection to opposed to the more fictionalized characters we've seen modeled previously within mob boat events, such as the sniffer, for example. <laughs> These creatures are also all associated with special features that would in turn be implemented within the game as well. There's more on the line now. The crab is associated with a new crab claw item that Mojang claims will allow players to interact with blocks from a farther away distance, introducing a newer mechanic that could revolutionize and change the functionality of Minecraft's gameplay for the better depending on how creative players can get with the new addition. On the other hand, the armadillo, much like the already added in turtles, are said to be dropping scutes. But these scutes can actually be fashioned into armor for players tamed wolves instead of turtle shells for players to wear like we obviously see with the turtle. We don't necessarily have an early look on what this armor might look like in game or all of the customization features that would go along with it, but it serves as a huge advantage to all pet owners in terms of keeping pet dogs way more safe from harm than ever with that one added layer of defense that players might feel necessary to ensure nothing happens to their animal. And last but not least, in terms of the penguin, we know a special in-game add-in to take the form of an ability to help speed boost players' boats, meaning the involvement of this creature could help a player massively in terms of exploring the vast ocean biomes at greater speeds and reach various locations quicker. And adding everything together with all the laid out potential features like this, unlike anything Minecraft Mambo has seen before, is exactly where the problem lies with some of the players in the first place. The alternative in this case that the current uprising is siding to end the madness we've currently faced is for the addition of all three introduced mob concepts to be added in rather than having to vote for a specific candidate, stopping the main problem people seem to have with the yearly system as a stance. Another huge element marking the downfall of the very effectiveness of the mob vote in the first place is the fact that large influencers are able to have an impact on the final outcome regarding the mob candidates. And at that, a pretty big one. We saw this very situation play out in 2020 with the introduction of the glow squid amongst the other two options at the time. And due to popular Minecraft YouTuber Dream, pushing for the glow squid to come out on top with his massive following, he was able to help sway the result. Rather than it being a more anonymous vote amongst all the players with unique perspectives, it ended up just being what Dream told people to vote for. There was a huge response to the whole situation originally, that the whole thing just seemed rigged and that it wasn't fair that larger creators had so much power to make decisions for the rest of the community. And due to the backlash snowballing more than ever in this 2023 mob vote specifically, because of the concerns with big voting influence and the fact the stakes are much higher than they've ever been, an actual petition has been started to stop the entire process entirely with another important aspect of the voting process titling the movement. The narrative corresponding with the petition seems to be the idea of the wasted designs that occur year after year being pointless. All the other options we keep seeing that ended up being introduced just to be thrown away again. We know only one of the three concepts are chosen in the first place after the voting process and that the other alternatives are still something some players at the time were eager to see make an appearance at the time of voting. With the end goal of 500,000 signatures almost being completely met with the rise of this petition, with an additional 23,000 more just in the last 24 hours alone, it's no wonder the movement seems to be gaining enough traction 
to actually make an impact on the future of this yearly Minecraft event. If more and more step forward, it seems as though Mojang might just have to make changes to how they run this system, as we can't forget the whole thing is meant to be an interactive player event in the first place. In terms of the actual winner of this 2023 mod vote, if no changes to the current system end up taking place, it seems like we pretty much already have the answer laid out to us. Polls have recently been conducted and spread like wildfire across YouTube in order to gather the general anonymous opinion of Minecraft players out there to configure which option amongst the armadillo, crab, and penguin was the fan favorite that was most likely to win the entire thing. And one of the largest polls out there that some argue isn't influenced by the actual source of the poll itself to sway results and push them in a certain direction was released by a YouTube channel called iCraftMC. This specific poll was recorded with nearly 300,000 total votes on the three candidates. The poll ended up resulting in a strong push towards the involvement of the armadillo in the game, as obviously its associated feature of being able to provide a bonus layer of armor to pet dogs is a huge deal to many players. The only problem in this case is that the poll was catered to a younger fan base that's new to the game of Minecraft and just players that are less skilled at the game in general. The only pushback on the armadillo coming out on top here is the fact the crab alternatively wins other popular polls on YouTube from big channels that are more focused around what you'd call veteran Minecraft players, the ones that are more skilled at the game than the other group. At the very least, this information reveals to us that it's extremely unlikely were to see the involvement of the penguin candidate in the game, as neither community shows much interest in it and it's left behind in popularity, most likely due to the fact that there isn't a bonus feature that accompanies this specific mob winning, apart from the traveling faster on water aspect. It provides less of an edge opposed to its counterparts, and despite the few movements out there to change this, it's likely the penguin just won't happen. But for the conclusion of what this means for the actual winner, between the crab and the armadillo candidates that have a much better chance of pulling ahead in the official polls, the various YouTube polls reveal to us that this means the armadillo is more likely to come out on top, as a majority of players are closer to the level of being less skilled at the game opposed to not, falling more into the category of the polls that feature the armadillo itself as the winner of the vote which again probably wouldn't go over well to the more skilled players who are hoping to take advantage of the crab claw perks that would be associated with it being the winner. So out of our selectable options, make sure to comment which one you'd like to see come out on top this year and what you think about the pushback against the entire voting system in the first place. There's many people out there with different opinions, but the main consensus is it comes to the two communities between the more skilled players and less skilled players to determine where exactly the vote is meant to be headed.